Hello there everybody, this is Ananya and today we will be building a small project based on the Hangman game. So I'm sure many of you all know how the Hangman game works, but in case you all don't, it's basically like guessing random words without any hint or clue via letters or guessing the entire word itself. And the more you go wrong, the more are the chances of a man hanging. And this is how your diagram looks like. So one by one, the hands and the legs and sort of keep coming. And finally, the man hangs. If you don't get it right, even at the last go. So let's give this a start. And firstly, we'll start off with uh, making a Python file named as words list. And to that, we'll make a list of words. So I have given in a random list of words. And what I'll do is I'll provide this Python file to you so you can just download it and use it for your main code. Now to another Python file, we'll start off with importing this words file, that is words list file. This is what you have and we'll need random module. Now what I'll do is I'll give you all three functions that you all can simply copy paste and the other two, you all will need to type it along with listening to the video. The next function we have is get words. What this does is it just selects a random word from the words list. And next we have our function hangman. What does hangman do? It gives us six stages for the man to die. So we start off with basically nothing. Then we get the head, then the body, then the hands, and finally the legs. This is how it goes. So I'll again be giving you all the hangman function too. So you all have the words list python file being provided to you the get words function and the hangman function now let's start off with some coding we'll have the function name as game and to that we'll be passing the parameter word here are a few variables that we'll be dealing with success denotes if the word is right initially set it to false letters guessed and words guessed will be two lists the complete word will initially just be underscores, which will get overwritten by the correctly guessed letters or maybe the entire word itself. And this will be exactly the length of the word being chosen randomly and chances given to the user is six. So please feel free to pause the video at any time and keep typing. Moving ahead, just a few print statements. We say hangman and you can just say hangman game or whatever you like and then we say print hangman chances so what this does is it first it basically just prints out this first stage to you the sixth one right the sixth position which is just denoting the start then we tell the user which random word it's supposed to guess so guess the word and to that you pass a variable complete word I suggest you all stick to the variable names that I have used. Otherwise, it might be a little confusing. So later on, you all can change however you all like it. Now we'll start off looping to all the possible test cases. So you check while chances is greater than zero and it's not of success. That is success is true. Firstly, we take the user input into the variable guess and convert it into upper. If the length of guess is one. That is if it's a letter and it's only supposed to be a character and not a number. And so we're also checking if is it is alpha. Now we go into nested if conditions. First one will be if guess in letters guessed. That is if the user has already guessed this letter previously, you just say that you have already guessed it. Our next condition to be checked is L if guess not in word. That is if that letter is does not exist in the word. Let's say I say I give the word A and it's not in the word. And in that case, your main uh, work comes into play. That is you decrement the chances. Now it becomes five and you also append it to letters guessed. So this time the user did go wrong. Hence you reduce the number of chances and increase the chances of the man hanging last else will be all these three if elf and else will be inside that is it is nested inside the first if condition and else that is if the user is correct we create a list of the complete word and copy that to complete word list we enumerate through the word that is the actual random word given by us and if the letter is equal to equal to guess only then do we add it to the list indices? 
Now we loop through indices and we add the guess that is the letter to the complete word list. Lastly, we convert the list into a string again. Hence, we are doing a join operation. And if it is an underscore, like if underscore is not in complete word, then you say success is true. So basically, we are overwriting it with the correct letter now. Now the next L if condition. This L if is in line with the first if condition that you gave. That is if length of guess is equal to one in line with that. Now we check that if it was a word that was guessed and not a letter. So L if length of guess is equal to equal to the length of word and similarly it should be only characters. Again, I'll keep applying the same logic. If guess is in words guessed, then say that you've already done guessing it. And if the entire word is not the actual word, you say it's incorrect, decrement the chance by one and append the word guess to the list words guessed. And lastly, if the word is true, that not the word is true, if the word is correct, you, give, you make success is equal to true so that it can go outside the while loop, basically terminate because the game is done and you say complete word is equal to word. Finally, if there's some unnecessary or let's say wrong guess given, you just say it's not valid. Now, after each guess that has been made, what we do is we print each hangman stage using hangman, print hangman chances, print the complete word. That is, if it's, M, if it's just still underscores or whatever letter or word has been guessed and give a new line. Now, if it was true, that is, if success is true, yes, you have guessed the word. Otherwise, better luck next time. All this being done, you have just one tiny, tiny function to complete. Otherwise, you have finished 90% of the code. In the function start, you say p is equal to true. You get the random word into the variable words and call the function game. Now, after the game function is done with printing, if the user has given the correct word or the wrong one. That is after these two statements, any of these two statements have been executed. You come back here into a while loop and ask if the user wants to play again or not. As simple as that. So we loop with P is equal to equal to true. Take the input if the user wants to play. If the user wants to play, then get another random word and call the game function. Otherwise, make the p variable false and come outside the loop. And finally, one of the most important things that you have to do that without any indentation, you will have to call the start function. And that's it. You're done. Let's go ahead and give this game a try. OK, so what all do we get? We are getting the first stage of the hangman game that is the initial one, the man is not about to die yet. And we have, let's say, six, six letters word to guess, a six letter word. So let me try out the letter A first. So no, the letter A does not exist. And hence you see the man's head. Let me give an E. Okay, E is there. And hence the stage was not incremented and E gets printed down here. Finally, let me just try something. Let's say S. S is in there, uh, H, H also is in there. I'm sure I'm pretty bad at it. Mm, let me, let me try F, no F, uh, I, no I, okay, O, okay, O is there. So could we guess the word? Okay, I, I have no clue. So I'm just giving in something random and that's it, it's done. What you can do is this time, if I do not get it right, you can also print what was the exact answer. So you could just say, oh, sorry, better luck next time. The word was, and then you give the word itself, the random word. I hope you all had fun building it. Uh, I hope it was easy too. Uh, bye bye. I'll see you all soon.